Hey everyone, this is Demsias and this is the fifth and last part of my How to Start in SimCity series where I try to provide you with a tutorial to get a good start in the new SimCity. We've built a little town now with a working traffic system, a bunch of people with different wealth levels, jobs in commercial buildings and industries and the main public institutions to keep your sims happy, educated, safe and healthy. And still, we're making a profit every day, we earn more money than we spend. So we're now at the point where we can look at our city and ask ourselves what we want to achieve with it. The oldest goal, if you want to call it like that, of any SimCity game is just to try to get your city to get bigger and better. So you concentrate on making your sims happier and let the density meter go up until you have a city full of skyscrapers. You will fight problems like higher amounts of traffic, greater demands in the security and health sector, pollution and keeping up with the general growth of your city. But it is a blast to play the good mayor and try to fix every little problem that comes your way. Yet the new Sim City gives you a lot of other possibilities and challenges that you can take up with your city. A few of them are given by the different specializations. There are six specializations so far. Gambling, trade, electronics, petroleum, metals and culture. In the second beta we didn't get much of a look in the departments other than gambling. But it's obvious that each pursuit will have its own challenges, its own look, its own charm. So can use the little town with all the basic infrastructure we gave it and make it a gambling heaven. Look out for some big crime waves, tourist traffic and a lot of garbage. Or maybe you want to make this town the new pinnacle of culture. Invest in a lot of public transportation, expensive landmarks and so on. You can find countless ways to succeed in the game and you should give each one a try. And even if you have all the specializations down and your cities are as big as they get, you can still invest in some great works, a solar farm, an international airport, an ecology or a space center. Or you can wreak havoc on your cities with destruction, catastrophes and monsters. Both ways to try to get further in the game, trying to make a balanced normal city as big as you can or making a town that is specialized for a certain good, have pros and cons regarding the interests of your region. Maybe it's not the best idea to build a polluting mining town right next to your college city, but the resources have to come from somewhere, right? So another challenge is to get a harmony inside your whole region where all the connected cities work together. If you play in a region by yourself, this will be an entertaining back and forth. If you play with other people, it's all about communication. So there is much more to do and I hope you're looking as much forward to it as I do. I will be making a lot more instructional videos on all the different aspects of the game in the future and I hope you stick around to enjoy the game with me for a long time to come. I hope you liked this video, if you did and vote it up, write something in the comments and subscribe to my channel for a lot more on SimCity. Thank you all for watching, smell you all later.